Hey, what's going on? Deep deep. Gaming here, and here is a pretty good gameplay of Uplink, and uh, I'm pretty pretty pleased about it. Uh, it's definitely a pretty good game, I can say. Uh, I finished off with a nice 50 bomb, which is always happy to see. Uh, however, this is in theatre. Uh, I know the Cove one was in theatre. Uh, this one's also in theatre because it was going to be my last game. And so I basically just thought, well, I'm not going to really go that well. I wasn't going well beforehand. I was dying one-off swarms and one-off sats quite a lot. But I just couldn't get that swarm. And so I kind of thought, well, that's, that's it really. I've My time's up. Uh, however, everything went quite nicely in this game of hard points, and I go on almost 6,000, I believe it is, 6,000 score, which is fairly decent. Uh, however, there was a couple of things that could have gone my way, a couple more kills, a couple less deaths, because eventually I did have to break out the objective play. And so here, you can see, you know, I'm playing the objective, I'm staying on it, you know, I'm not now, because my friendlies are here, but I'm defending it, I'm sticking around it, and I'm helping my teammates, and that basically, that's how I did it all game. Uh, fairly lucky as well, uh, lucky that the these guys on the other team weren't exactly the best, I would just change spots every now and then, he didn't notice a single thing just then. I would change spots every now and then, and that would kind of just keep me going. Uh, I saw a, I thought a guy was palming just then, because of the VSAT. Like, look at this. Too easy. Didn't even see me there. Merciless Metal. And so, it's, you know, Cove was a pretty good game. Uh, 33 with the snipers, pretty decent. Um, this one on Uplink. It's a it's a pretty good image of Summit, I can say. They've just taken out the snow aspect, basically. Uh, the one really annoying thing is uh, the uniforms. <laughs> they look like they're wearing onesies or like pajamas or something. They look absolutely terrible. Um, I'm not talking about the other team. I'm talking about my team. So when you see a couple of my teammates run around, just look at them and they look absolutely terrible in my opinion. I don't know whether they tried to copy Black Ops 1 with those uniforms or not, but I just thought it looked absolutely they look absolutely terrible in my opinion. Those guys they don't look too bad, I suppose. It's just my team looks absolutely terrible. Now on actual changes to the map I have noticed a couple. One is that the head glitching spots have been lowered slightly, so the crates and stuff have been lowered by, I'd probably say about half a foot maybe, roughly about there. I'm not, I'm not too entirely sure. Uh, just about, I'm just thinking back to like all the head glitching spots. They've been lowered down. Um, slightly, which was the same with Fire and Range and Studio. Uh, another thing is this building. It looks a lot bigger, in my opinion. It looks like it's a up. It's up a lot higher. Uh, it used to be able to throw a grenade from side to side, um, and it would just drop down in front of the door of the enemy team. And uh, I don't think I'm able to do that anymore. I've been trying. You can see me trying and trying and trying. But I don't think I'm able to do that, unfortunately. So that's also a thing that's badish. You know, a couple of nade spots have gone. I don't know whether a couple of line of sights are also gone. I know that you used to be able to shoot the person if he was camping in the corner back there. Um, in that corner, you used to be able to shoot through that wall. There was a metal wall. You used to be able to shoot through it. Um, so if someone was camping there in the corner, you could shoot through them and kill them, uh, which I think, you know, it's pretty good. It's definitely a, you know, it's just a thing, you know, that makes 
good players, great players, basically. And uh, one other thing that I think is bad, and I'll, this is the last thing that's bad, then I'll get on to what's good, is that little axe thing up the top there on the building, that little triangle. I think that's to stop cross maps. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it does seem like it's easy to throw a tomahawk over that, or combat axe, whatever. I still call them tomahawks. It looks really easy if you could just like pop one straight over there. Um, I know that there used to be like a satellite dish up there, or like a radar thing. Uh, however, now I'm not sure whether you're able to get it up because you used to have to like drop it down, and it will probably be like 10 meters above the building by the end. So whether that's big enough to stop cross maps, I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to like YouTube some videos on that and see whether it's still possible. Uh, I'll try it out myself, maybe even. Look at that guy, far out. So, you know, that's possibly the only bad things. Now onto the good things. And I can say that it is a pretty good image. It still looks like Summit. And it's got the same aspects of Summit, you know. It's still got the kind of whole thing about it. Um, you can, there's still that little walkway up the top there that you can get on. And you can get outside there. Uh, you can still get on the forklift. Uh, not the forklift. The cable car. Uh, I think you can, it's not entirely closed off now. I think you can like, shoot through it and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, however, a couple of things have changed, really. It's, they've taken out the snow aspect and replaced it with, like, a mountainous jungle. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's somewhere in Asia. I'm not entirely sure. Look, it's like, it looks like it's a, an abandoned monastery, kind of, off to the side in the mountains. Um, so it is in theatre, and the host left. And I think I died there. Um, I died, like, just before the host migration, or, like, just at the start of it. Uh, anywho, so it looks like it's an abandoned monastery by like statues and stuff outside at the Sea Dom area. Uh, however, like out here, if you look at like some of the buildings out here, it just looks like it's like an abandoned monastery. Uh, that's what I'm. That's what I'm guessing it looks like, uh, which is pretty cool. Look at that guy. Look at him. Far out. So if you look out there, you know, it's kind of up in the Himalayas, maybe, possibly, I'm not too entirely sure. Big satellite dishes and stuff, so it's kind of modernized in a way, I guess you could say. Um, now, for the best, so I did this to Cove, and I'll do it for Uplink. The best game modes for this map, in my opinion, are Domination, Hardpoint, Demolition and Search and Destroy. I think they're the exact same as said for Cove. Uh, just because it's a very... The map set out to be objective. Like, it's an objective-based map, basically. Uh, you've got the middle room where B is, and for Domination, that is, where B is. You've got um, a little walkway down the side where Demolition A is, and Search and Destroy A is. I believe they're A. And hard point, it's just based on map control, basically. And I think the hard points are pretty well thought out. Uh, there isn't one down the side on the left, though. Whether they'll implement that, I'm not too entirely sure. I know that that would be a pretty cool thing, because controlling something down there would be pretty hard and pretty easy, depending on how you set yourself up. I haven't played it in league play yet, so I'm not too entirely sure what it's like there. However, I'm pretty sure it would just be the same because you have capture the flag, which would be alright. You have hard point and you have search and destroy basically. They're the objective ones. So pretty sure it's you know, no, nothing too much has changed there. Uh, it's pretty good, it's a pretty good map, I enjoy it. Uh, still still gets that kind of feeling of summit uh, which I like. Unfortunately I had to hurdle over that. So, you know, it's really up to you which one you like best. I personally like possibly Uplink the best in my opinion. That's probably my favourite. Uplink and Cove, 
they're probably my favourites, and then Rush, and then I absolutely hate Detour. But uh, yeah, that's basically it.